Okay, so what we're going to do now is to uh, create some variables that are a function of other variables. Uh, these are also cal uh, uh, called calculated variables. So I, I, I guess it will become more clear when I when I when I actually do this. So for example, think about uh, in this data set uh, that you have. Uh, let me see if I can several different variables here that are called uh, lexical pack lists uh, in the article. And there are several different categories for this. So for example, one could be verbs, non-verbs, um, uh, motor, motor verbs, uh, or um, verbs but not motor verbs. So in other words, you know, there are multiple uh, different types of lexical pack lists. So let's just say that now I want to create a, uh, a variable which is basically the sum of these one, two, three variables here. So basically it's the total number of lexical pack lists in the article. How do I do this? So first step is I go to call columns and I see new column. Okay, now what I'm going to do is to call this lexical backlinks uh, in title. Now this variable is, uh, uh, even though you know all the other ones had uh, additional characteristics, for example, uh, verbs but not modal verbs, or non-verbs, or motor verbs, blah blah blah, this, will, this one will be the sum of all three. So what I do is that I change the variable uh, from column properties to formula, okay? And this formula will basically give me this window here. What I do here then is to, let's just expand this window a little bit. Well, that didn't really help much. Uh, so, well, I'm just looking at the order here. So right below number of words in article here, I have the three variables that I want. So I select the first one, and as you can see, it shows up here. And then I say plus, then the second one, plus, then the third one. And I basically have all the variables now that are represented by lexical pack lists in the article. And I can actually see this. So this is the first one. So verbs, but not modal verbs. Then I have non-verbs, and then I have motor verbs. And as you can see, each one of these uh, variables is within a little box, and then the boxes uh, have this plus sign. So I just say now OK. Um, and as you can see, you know, I'm back to this window with the, uh, the name of my variable. And right here, I have you know, the formula. Uh, now, if I wanted to change that formula, I could edit, uh, you know, just click here on Edit Formula. But for now, let's just say I say OK. And uh, whenever a new variable is created, it's created right here. Uh, and uh, as you can see, let's just put this, I'm going to change the order and put this variable right below the other one. So I've done this in a, a previous cast, but I'll do it again. So I go to calls, uh, I see reorder col columns, move selected columns because you know the lexical, the variable that I just created is selected. And then I'm going to say uh, place the variable after, uh, where is that? So lexical one, two, three, I want to place it right here. And I say OK. Now if I go back here, to my variable now, I'm going to see that, like the lexical, uh, uh, oops, no, let me just find this. Oh, actually, I said title. I'm sorry. Let's just change the name of this. Uh, how can I do this? I'm going to rename the column. So I'm going to right click here, uh, there's no rename, so let's re, oh, not recode, 
Let's see. What would I choose? I'd probably choose uh, formula. No, formula didn't work. I'll try it again. Mm. Column info. Yeah, that's it. So it's not really in the title, it's in the article. So, you know, in a way, I, of course, you know, I didn't plan to get it wrong, but it, this is nice because, you know, you can see that by right clicking and then testing multiple things, you know, you can uh, actually end up finding how the, the software works by, by trial and error. But anyway, so going back here, as you can see, this variable, which is the combination of all three, so it's the sum of all three, it really works. So, for example, if you have here 0 plus 0 plus 2 equals 2. Here, you have 2 plus 3 plus 10, it's equal uh, 15. Now, very important, uh, and this is why, you know, in a previous uh, video I said that these missing values, they should not be missing, they should be actually zero. Because it's not really that the researchers don't know what happens here, it, it just happens that uh, it happened to be zero. But as you can see, if I try to sum something that's missing, so if I say, missing plus missing plus uh, 28, it's not going to say 28 here, it's going to say missing. So this is one more reason why it's important that whenever you're finding corresponds to zero, you write zero, you don't leave it blank. Uh, so there's a big difference between missing and zero. Missing means I don't know. Zero means it's, uh, you know, the value zero.